psychologists in the 1990s studied human communication and determined that only about 10% of human communication is verbal. So even among humans, 90% of the messages we send back and forth to each other are in that nonverbal range. And yet our culture has become obsessed with words. And where do you go to exercise the other 90%? As it turns out, horses are masters at helping us to practice really effective ways of communicating nonverbally. <laughs> Imagine if you went to college, or maybe you were going to go get a medical degree. Maybe you were going to become a brain surgeon, or maybe you were going to build missiles. And what if your professor said to you on the first day of school, we're really excited to have you here, um, and we're going to teach you 10% of what you need to know to be successful in your field. That would sound insane, wouldn't it? And yet, in terms of leadership and relationship and social intelligence skills and emotional intelligence skills, a huge amount of that is in that 90% range. And so when we're teaching people to be leaders, we're t when we're teaching people to be parents, when we're teaching them how to collaborate with colleagues, if we're leaving out the other 90% of nonverbal communication, we're not teaching them nearly what they need to know. And so we, we actually exercise the other 90% through working with horses.